Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I bless God for this new week that we have just entered. Listen, God is demonstrating his love to you this week. You know how I know? Because he is sending his word to you. Now that is the best gift God can give to you. What is that? His word. Praise God. You know, whenever God gives you his word, you know what it is? It is a demonstration of his love to you. Now that's why Jesus made a very bold statement by saying, if you love me, it's a commandment actually. He says, keep my words. Now think of it. If he's telling you to keep my word as a proof of your love, it means he must have given the word already as a proof of his love. So we show mutual love by the word. So he sends his word and we keep the word. He sends his love by, because he loves us. And then we keep his word because we love him. Praise God. So now he's sending his word to you this week. How do I know that? Now, when I sit here to do this broadcast, the word of God, see, I, I come under the influence of the spirit of God and I speak words that he only gives to me. Now, I know when the word of God is coming to me. I know it. And I know when I'm speaking by myself. See, but see, when I, when I, when I do this program, I make sure I'm under the influence of his spirit. And so sometimes I say things that I I'm just hearing it for myself the first time. But see, I trust the source because I know him. I know his voice. Praise God. So listen, open your hearts and receive every good thing that God has for you. Because as the word of God is coming, burdens are being removed from your lives. Yokes are being destroyed. How? By the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we honor you this week, Lord. Lord, we set our hearts to receive every truth that you will give to us. For Jesus said, you will guide us into all truth. And our hearts are ready. I pray today you will not hold back anything that is profitable to us, but we receive freely our daily bread from you. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Praise God. Now turn your Bibles with me to 1 Corinthians. We are still in 1 Corinthians, and we, we stopped at chapter 9 on Friday. So we're going to go into chapter 10 today. 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Now let's begin to read. Are you ready with your Bibles? Now have your notes ready. You need to write some things. Because see, we are reading the scriptures. But as we are reading, the word of God is going to be coming to you. I want you to get ready for that especially. Because that's what's going to produce the miracles that you need. Praise God. Verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye be ignorant... How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. He says, all our fathers. Now, there are no mistakes about it. You know the story. Abraham is the origin of this whole nation of Israel. So, so by the time he got to Jacob, Jacob moved into Egypt with all his children. See, and now when Moses, was, when Moses came to bring them out of Egypt, they were all the children of Abraham that came out of Egypt. Hallelujah. Now he says, all right, verse, verse 2. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And all did eat the same spiritual food. They all ate the same spiritual food. Follow this now. And all and did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. So why do they call it spiritual rock? It was a miracle water that came out of that rock. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, you need to understand the way God works with his children. And that includes you. You don't compare yourself. Do you know, do you know, you know how the water came out from the rock, right? God told Moses, strike the rock. He struck the rock. Water came out. You know the second time God says, speak to the rock. And then he struck it. Water still came out. Now, I bet you, that water, I don't think that water became an everlasting water that, that you know, with that rock running. He said the rock followed them. 
Now I can imagine someone else seeing that same rock that they drank from and going there and say, I thought there was water here and he won't find water there. <laughs> That's why he called it spiritual drink. Mm. All right. So they drank, they ate spiritual food, they drank spiritual drink. Now look at verse 5. But with many of them, God was not pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. Think about this. These guys were enjoying all these miracles. They were enjoying manna. They were enjoying water. One time they asked God for meat and God supplied them enough meat. The Bible said they ate until it began to come out of their nostrils. Now they were that full of meat. See? And, and guess what? Now, they were enjoying all these miracles, yet God was not pleased. He said God was not well pleased with them. Think about it. Now that's something you learn from the Lord. A character you learn from the Lord. Now he was not well pleased with these folks. But yet he made sure they never lacked food. He made sure nothing goes wrong with them. He just made sure they were doing well. Now think about it. You have a staff in your organization that, that isn't behaving well this month. For some reason, you know, you know, you, you're just not getting the best of the person. You give an instruction, the person just, you know, confuses everything. And then you begin to say, I'm not going to pay you at the end of the month. Look at how stupid you have acted. I won't pay you at the end of the month. That's not godly character. Godly character states, you still take care of your responsibility towards that person. You will discipline, you will caution, but you never cease providing responsibility where, where that person is concerned. You, paid, you don't cut people's salary because the salary was agreed upon. See? Same thing with your children. Don't say, I'm not paying your school fees this time because you didn't behave well. No, you don't do that. Even if you're not pleased, you still make sure you are faithful to your own responsibility. Praise God. Now, why was God not pleased with them? Watch. Now he says, now these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they lusted. Now did you see that? Why was God not pleased with them? They lusted after evil things. Now think about it. Now you know who is talking about. He's talking about the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt on their way to the promised land. Those were the people. That, that's what he was referring to here. Now he said, they lost it after evil things. Have you thought about what evil things did they lost after? Did they lost after going to commit fornication? Did they lost after, you know, rushing to serve other gods like that? See, you know what they lost it after? Food, garlic, cucumber. Those are the things they lost it after. <laughs> now, now, now think about it. They were eating manna every day. And... The manna, the manna they knew was supernatural because it comes in the morning and then it comes in the evening. But they, they began to sit down and talk. You know when people are discussing, I mean, I miss my garden. I miss that cucumber. I miss that garlic. Hey, you are eating manna. You see, they were lost in after evil things. Now, it's the same thing we do today. For example, you're out of your job you know, for, for many months now. And, and but then you realize when it's time for your bills to be paid somehow God opens a door and money comes in you pay your bills things you know just somehow you know things are just you're just getting by and you're feeling well now you are in that state and, and you're talking to someone and say man God has been faithful Lord. God has really been. Do you know I just paid my house rent even without a job? You say, yeah, wow. And then you, you talk all that talk and then you go like, I, I can't just wait to get a job because, man, you know, this life of faith is not an easy one. You see, you know, when you have a job, at least you can plan. You can plan. Do you know you're lost in after evil things? Now, now, I'm not saying desiring to have a job is evil. You see, your thoughts are in getting a job is what can be evil. Not getting the job. Your thoughts 
concerning getting a job can be evil. Now, how, how can it be evil? I'll tell you how. Now, now, you are seeing the hand of God on your life already. You are seeing God meet your need just like he said. And then your thoughts are, I'm enjoying it too, but I, I think I want to go back to the one that I can, you know, keep tabs with, the one I can plan with, you know, the one I can, you know. Ah. When you do that, because you're thinking right now, if, if, if I know at least every month I have 200,000 coming in as my salary every month, you know, then I can plan, I can say, okay, in, in three months, I can save this amount of money and I can do this and I can do that. You, you know, you are insulting the Lord when you do that. You're insulting God. You are saying all these miracles I'm seeing is rubbish. There are people, you see, you... <sighs> mm. You know, I was talking to the Lord one time and I asked the Lord, I said, but Lord, why? you know, I, I was trying to play an advocate for the children of Israel. So I was talking to the Lord, I said, but Lord, it wasn't fair. You, you were just feeding these people with the same kind of food every day. The same kind of food every day, manna, manna. I said, but Lord, even me, I'll get tired. <laughs> you know, so, and, 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 oh, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I love the Lord, see. You see, wait, wait, when you know him, you will not be afraid to talk to him. And that's one thing you must learn to do with God. Ask questions. Ask. Ask and you will receive. That's how your wisdom increases. That's how I learned many things I've learned. By asking questions. So I asked the Lord that question. I said, why were you feeding them with just manna, 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 manna? And then the Lord said, because they didn't ask me for anything else. I thought about it. I said, hey. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> and, and the Lord said, <laughs> The Lord said, When they asked for meat, did I hold back meat from them? I said, Whoa. Whoa. That's true. <laughs> they, instead of them to ask for something else, maybe, maybe they, they should have asked for, I don't know what they had then, maybe rice or or um, think about it. What kind of food do you eat in your country? Praise God. Ima just imagine. They could have asked for something else. They didn't ask. They, they were there saying, this man, I thank God for this man. Now. But man, I wish we can eat garlic. I wish we can eat cucumber. I, I wish we can eat. You know, you know that delicacy we used to prepare, you know, in our village in Goshen. They could have asked. And they would have gotten it. Praise God. So, so you are there. God, God has been faithful. Do you know I just paid my house rent? I, I need a job because there are many things I need that at least if I had a job now, I would just you know arrange and buy them. Ask! Don't be murmuring. I'll be, I'll be desiring evil. See, he says, don't lust after evil things. Praise God. Now, now look at look at this. Mm. He says, now these things are for our example. Now I've just shared something important with you. I hope you got that. Because what we see in them. Now, you know, Moses also had this problem. He didn't enter the promised land. Because he said, he said in verse 5, they were all overthrown in the wilderness. All of them who lusted after evil things. All of them who God was not well pleased with. They were overthrown in the wilderness. And Moses included. Moses, Moses fell short. And, and he couldn't enter the promised land. You know the problem. God told him, speak to the rock. The first time God says, strike the rock with your rock. He struck the rock. The next time God says, speak to the rock. But because his heart was full of anger, he wasn't happy with the children of Israel. And what did they do wrong? They asked for water. You know, I think Moses was part of their problem. They, they asked Moses, Moses want water. Why did they want water? They were thirsty. And Moses were, was playing this, this attitude of, are you not grateful that God is giving you water? You know, sometimes people think that way. Are you not grateful that God has given you a job? Now you're saying God should give you a car. Come on, who, who else will you ask for a car? It's not a sign of ungratefulness. You are talking to your father, bless God. If you want the whole of heaven, you can ask him. <laughs> if you asked him for a million yesterday and he gave it to you, don't be afraid to ask him by evening time, praise God. He can give it to you morning and evening. After all, the manner he gave them morning and evening. He's your father. Mm. So listen, if you have been lusting after evil 
lost. You need to repent from it. And say, Lord, I'm so sorry. You know why I need to repent? Because I've got to stop here. <laughs> My time is up. Praise God. I pray that today God will open the gates of financial blessings to you. And you will see truly that he is your God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.